what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? On Tuesday, Crooked Congress introduced the Protect and Serve Act, legislation created to address violence against police. The House of Representatives and the Senate introduced their individual versions of the bill, with the Senate version designating violence against police a federal hate crime. The House version of the bill makes it a crime to knowingly cause or attempt to cause serious bodily injury to a law enforcement officer. The crime is punishable by up to 10 years in prison. If the crime results in the death of a law enforcement officer or the crime involves kidnapping or the attempt to kidnap or kill a law enforcement officer, then the sentence can carry up to life in prison. The Senate version was introduced by Senators Orrin Hatch, Republican, and Heidi Heitkamp, Democrat, using language that mirrors the language used in hate crime laws aimed at protecting marginalized groups. The bill would make it a federal crime to knowingly cause bodily injury to any person or attempt to do so because of the actual or perceived status of the person as a law enforcement officer. The ACLU, along with Human Rights Watch, the Leadership Conference on Civil and Human Rights, and the NAACP Legal Defense and Educational Fund wrote a letter to the Senate asking that senators oppose the introduction and co-sponsorship of this bill, writing in part, Extending hate crime protections to law enforcement officers is a profoundly inappropriate and misguided proposal for several reasons. First, police already have substantial protections under the federal and state law, rendering this bill superfluous. Second, hate crime laws are intended to extend protection to historically persecuted groups that have experienced a history of systemic discrimination based on a personal characteristic such as race, religion, gender, sexual orientation, and disability. Law enforcement officers are not a historically persecuted group. Third, this bill signals that there is a war on police, which is not only untrue, but an unhelpful and dangerous narrative to uplift. Fourth, Bills similar to protect and serve that have been introduced in states around the country, so-called Blue Lives Matter bills, appear to be a political response to the growing national movement for police accountability in the face of continued killings and assaults on unarmed African Americans. Therefore, this bill is divisive and will have a negative impact on the relationship between law enforcement and the communities they serve. Boy, these some dirty bastards, man. They dirty. They're already super protected. They already don't go to jail when they commit crimes. They already hang the hell out of anybody that kills a cop. Cop can be beating you up and hurt their foot while they're kicking you in the ass and charge you with assault. So what is this for? This is more posturing. This is that us against you mentality. Us against them mentality. That's what they have. And you got people that's going to sit back and do nothing about it. This is why the politicians behave the way they behave because they're not being held accountable. But this is why people say your vote counts especially on local and state levels, you can get a whole lot more done on a local and state level as opposed to trying to go straight to the top and decide who you want to have as your president. These politicians run it, man, and they're only going to get away with what the constituents allow them to get away with. So just remember that when you go to the polls. Remember the ones who voted for this legislation. Remember their names. Because it's not just those two senators. It's the other ones that are pushing for it too. Remember them. What their asses should be out there doing is trying to 
serve and pass legislation that would protect their constituents from these corrupt, abusive, asinine, and unfit, mentally unfit cops. But that's too much like right. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.